Here's our wet and wet sample we made earlier. So now we're going to find the perfect little painting in there. So we have our mat so I can look around and I don't have to stay I don't have to stay true to that piece of paper. I don't have to do anything. Now I made you can see how big I made this sample compared to this because I want to find the perfect little painting. It wouldn't have to be that big necessarily. It could be smaller than that but you want to give yourself plenty of opportunities. So you know like there's a possibility there's a possibility and I want to have the sample be completely the the technique. I don't want to see white paper so when you, you when you find what you like that's pretty nice right there because it's got a lot of all these different colors in there. Uh, this is more subtle that's nice too but you know when you let watercolor do what it wants to do it, it just uh, you get beautiful stuff you don't it's not all that hard to get what you want. Uh, you can't argue with it you gotta work with it a little bit. Maybe I'm just in a this kind of a mood today I don't know I'm leaning towards this I think I liked where I got all of these. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil kind of goofed there a little bit. And so now I know how to cut out my my sample. Now you can see that there's a lot of leftover white paper. Don't ever throw away any white paper that's left over. And I'd say hang on to this stuff too, just anywhere. But you can use this, this white paper, to try out colors like you're trying to trying to find the, the color you really want. So don't uh, don't waste it. That's still good paper for doing things with. Okay, so now it's the opposite. We were keeping this, we were keeping the hole before. Well now we want to keep the square and it's actually easier to cut because we can just cut right past the corner. So I find these spots here and I don't have to put starting and stopping places. I can just slowly pass through here and get my little sample. So there were lots of, there were actually lots of little samples in there that could have worked that looked pretty nice. And maybe it'll give you ideas for something else. Sometimes they seem connotative of something else. Like a like a landscape or sky or something and then you just try and remember that stuff. There's something else that interesting that happens once you cut out these samples. So we're going to be pulling this out of this little whole wash, you know, wet into wet. And these edges become part of the whole composition. So there it is sitting there like that. Now when we pull it out of here, and I'm going to set it back onto something white here so you can see it. Get rid of the little fur. It kind of changes its identity. And so, clean that stuff off before you glue them down. And then we have a nice clean sample that we would glue down into the, into the portfolio.
And now those edges, those outside edges, become part of the design element. And it gives it a little different character than it had when it sat in that hole, in that whole piece. So do that with all of these samples. Try and give yourself opportunities.